Hi guys, I'm Giuseppe Sabori and welcome to another TTS Pro tutorial. Today we will see in detail other functions inside the enhancement page. I'm talking about the functions below and in particular the warm and cold filters and the more highlights and shadow recovery buttons. To begin with, let's start using the warm filters with warm highlights. This filter adds a yellow look in the highlights giving more energy to this and increasing the impact of the sunset. It's auto sets on soft light, but you can change the blending mode in overlay if you want a stronger effect, or simply reduce the opacity to decrease it. And here is how it looks like in before and after. The other warm filter is called warm shadows and affect only the shadows. Is particularly useful if you want to give an addiction to the other filter a warm look to the wall image. Let's give a look to this. If the effect is too strong, as in this case, you can lower the opacity to have a more realistic look at the image. Now we have both warm filters to affect the highlights and shadows in the wall frame we can group the two layers, select both and press Ctrl and G and call them Worm Filters. And this is the before and after. Now I'll leave this group layer invisible to show you the other two highlights and shadow filters. Let's start with Cold Highlights that generates a cold filter that only affects the highlights. The blending mode is set to normal and also here we can change it to increase or decrease the strongness of the effect. For example, with overlay is more strong, but if I choose soft light, the result is less accentuated. As there is for the warm filters, even among cold ones there is cold shadows. Let's take a look at it. Now I have the shadows with a cold filter applied, and to give a more realistic look to the final frame, I prefer to reduce the opacity. Just like I did for the warm filters, also here I go to group the layers and I rename it as cold filters. Now we have two groups, it's easy to compare the two filters between warm and cold. The warm filter can be used for a sunset boost, for pictures that looks into the sun direction. The cold filter is an alternative to enhance the blue hour shots. I want to decrease the opacity to keep the last touch and that's ok. Now let's talk about the other two filters that affects the highlights and shadows. I'm talking about more highlights and shadows recovery buttons. More highlights have the function of lightening them, giving more energy at this point. Instead the shadow recovery button is for the lighten the shadows and make them better visible. Obliviously also here you can always decrease the opacity or changing the blending mode to soften or stronger the effect. So those are the highlights and shadows enhancement inside TTS Pro. I hope you will find this useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.